In scenario 3, we'll demonstrate ArcSight's out-of-the-box log collection capabilities. First, we will show the Office 365 Smart Connector for native cloud support. Second, we'll show the AWS S3 Smart Connector, grabbing text files from an S3 bucket. Finally, we'll show collection from an on-prem deployed Smart Connector to pass Rapid7 Nexpo's VA scan results. So let's make a start. First, we log in to our live Office 365 system. As you can see, our Azure tenant hosts a number of Office 365 applications. I can see the overall Exchange mailbox, Microsoft Teams, Azure AD login, and other activities. Let's now deploy the Office 365 Smart Connector using ArcMC, our centralized log routing and connector management interface. We will upgrade the Smart Connector package to the latest version for version currency with latest passes. This is done automatically through ArcSight Marketplace. Now I can start deploying the Office 365 Smart Connector. We support a large selection of log sources right out of the box. I select Office 365. We then provide the necessary details like the tenant ID, secret key, etc. Finally, we select the destination for normalized events. In this case, ArcSight Transformation Hub, a Kafka-based message bus. Once the deployment ends, we log in to ArcSight Recon to verify the successful receipt of all Office 365 events. Sure enough, event flow is confirmed to be successful. Our second demo is for the AWS S3 Bucket, another API-based smart connector, this time installed on a Windows host on-prem. This is a super connector, allowing a single smart connector to support a variety of unique logs sent to an S3 Bucket. We enter the remaining details to finish the deployment. Our third demo is for Rapid7 Nexpos, on-prem vulnerability analyzer. We will select the interactive option instead of the automated mode. This way we'll be in full control of which VA scan results to import into ArcSight's asset and CVE database. Finally, we run the smart connector. We select both scan reports to import their VA findings into ArcSight so they can be used in incident priority calculations.